guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So from the thumbnail, I hope you get to know about the topic of today's video. The topic is MTech or MTech research. What you should join. So this is one confusion that is there among students. Specifically those students who didn't do that well in the gate uh, examination. Probably their rank is around 500 or 600. They used to think that whether they should go with uh, MTech program in uh, middle tier IITs or lower IITs or they should go with MTech research in top IITs or ISC Bangalore. Now in this video, I will discuss in detail about these two program that is the MTech program and MTech research or MS research. So there are many variations or variants of MTech research. And uh, there are some confusion also that is there that MTech research, there are different ways to getting admission uh, into a MS research or MTech research in different IITs. Now in this video, I will talk in detail about everything and there will be three sections of this video. In the first part, I will briefly talk about what are these curriculums, what is MTech curriculum and what is MTech research or MS research curriculum. In the second section, I will be talking about the pros and cons of both the programs. And finally, I will be talking about that what you should choose based on your rank, what you should choose, whether you should go with MTech program or MTech research or MS research program in different IITs. So that will be the content of today's video. So if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned this video till end and before starting the video as you always say if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people without further delay let's start into today's video first let me give you a brief overview about both the program that is mtech and mtech research or ms research mtech is typically a two years program which is offered by different institutions like iits nits triple iits or other engineering colleges where admission happens primarily based on gate score or gate rank this is a course driven program or course focused program where students are expected to credit a lot of courses. On average, you have to credit 10 to 12 courses as a part of your MTech curriculum. And at the end of third semester, through on campus placement, you will be getting job. And by completion of two years, you will be getting the MTech degree and you will be graduated from the institution. Next is MTech research or MS research or MTech RA. There are different variations of this particular program based on different IITs. So this is a research driven program and the most important part is it's not time bound day. So it, you, you might take uh, two and a half years, three years, even three and a half years to complete a MTech research program. So this is the major difference uh, between a MTech program and MTech research program that MTech typically takes two years. It's a time bound program, but MTech research, uh, it's not time bound, um, you know, based on how you perform uh, and, and based on your guide, it will be ended. I'll be coming into that after some time. Now, regarding admission of MTech research and MS research, there are some confusions because uh, there are many ways students can get into different IITs as a MTech research or MS research students. The first one is uh, during this time, like April, May, when uh, IITs are taking MTech students, the typical MTech students, they recruit MTech research or MS research students through GATE score. Uh, so for this, you need a decent GATE score. Then only you can apply to these top uh, IITs and based on your GATE score you probably you will be getting a call for interview and before the interview you have to select the area of research also for example in computer science if uh, whether you want to work on theory system or intelligence system or AI that you have to decide before the interview and based on your choices you will you'll, you'll, you'll be you'll be facing a, a panel of uh, uh, professors who will be taking your interview and based on how you perform in the interview you will be getting selected or not so the mode of admission is gate score plus interview here i mean in the mtech program mostly the mode of admission is through gate score typically through direct entry through gate score but here uh, you also have to face a interview and this is how typically you can enter into mtech research program in isc bangalore or mtech ra program or ms research program in iit bombay or different other institution now apart from this there is another way to get into different iits in the ms program and i have made a separate video on this particular topic so you can go and check it out the link i will be giving in the description or it may come in the i button so here you don't need a very decent gate score even. You just have to qualify in the gate exam and even if, if you have a very low gate score, still you can get into different top IITs as a MS candidate. So what you need to do is you have to join in different projects under different professor in IITs as a, as a research assistant or project assistant and internally you can convert into a MS program. 
so uh, this admission happened throughout the year i mean as i was saying the mtech admission or the typical mtech research admission through gates code that happens uh, in the end then month of april and may but this the other way of uh, getting admission in ms that happens throughout the year so again i am saying there is a there is a separate video detailed video i have prepared on this uh, so you can go and check it out now let's talk about the pros and cons of mtech and mtech research program first let's talk about the advantages of mtech program the first advantage is that you will get more exposure to different areas of your particular discipline where you are doing your mtech program and that actually gives you a diverse knowledge for example uh, if you join mtech program in computer science in different iits or iisc bangalore there you have to credit a lot of courses as i am mentioning that you have to course 10 to 12 courses from different areas maybe some courses will be theory some courses will be systems some will be intelligent systems or ai related so this gives you a more exposure of different areas you can explore different areas and based on your interest you can choose whichever project or research area you can work on in your research domain or maybe uh, you can you can choose that which area you want to explore in future and you want to work in future so this is one of the biggest advantage that mtech program gives you that it gives you more exposure of different diverse areas and this gives you diverse knowledge of the particular discipline next is mtech program as i was saying it's a time bounded program uh, it will take 2 years to complete mtech program and by the end of second year there will be no extension uh, you know even if you are not doing good bad whatever you are doing it will be done by second year so there is there is no you know no things like your mtech program will be extended or something like that so this is another advantage advan another advantage that it's a time bound program and even if you don't do any research as a part of your mtech program you will graduate uh, so research is not mandatory for mtech program uh, you are expected to do some work as a part of your mtech thesis but even if you don't do any work also you will be graduated because it's a time bound program now coming to the disadvantages of mtech program first of all you know it's not that easy to get mtech program in top iits because you need a very high gate score uh so if you don't have a very good uh, gate score or high gate score you won't get the mtech program in top iits or iisc bangalore second disadvantage is because you have to do a lot of course work on average 10 to 12 course work you have to do you have to go through hectic course work pressure um as i mentioned in many of my previous videos that uh, the first two semester of mtech program is really tedious you know you have to go to a lot of pressures on average you have to you have to credit four to five courses uh, and you know completing four to five courses in three three or four months of semester is really really hectic so you know you have to do a lot of course work that's why uh, the life the especially the first couple of semester will be very hectic for mtech student the next uh, disadvantage is sometimes i have seen that you have to credit lot of useless courses uh, because there are some mandatory courses that you have to credit you have to complete those courses but after completion of your mtech you will find that those courses are just useless for example i can share my experience uh, in iisc bangalore there is a pool requirement like two courses you have to complete from theory pool two courses you have to complete from system and two courses you have to complete from intelligent system now personally i have proceed with intelligent system uh, pool because i have done my masters uh, thesis also in ai and then i currently i am doing my phd in ai when i look back i i i can feel that those theory courses specifically uh, courses like cryptography or some courses like networking from system pool uh, those are just uh, you know not adding much in my cv i have just done those courses to complete the pool requirement so that's why in mtech course work because there are some mandatory courses or pool requirement you have to satisfy you will feel that there are some useless courses that you are required to do but which is not helping much in your future now fourth one is less flavor of research because you have to do a lot of courses and there is very limited time uh, you will not get much flavor of research in mtech uh, mtech program uh if you want uh, you can do some work in your mtech mtech thesis but that also you will not get much time because uh you know there will be placement uh, there will be lot of courses you have to credit so maybe in the final semester you will get some time to do some research uh, so that's why you know the flavor of research that you will be getting from mtech program is very limited and finally the guide selection is very competitive in mtech program 
uh, because you know in all IITs uh, there are very few professor in, in 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 different domains who are doing research. For example, you are interested in machine learning and AI domain, and maybe in your IIT, whichever IIT you are getting admission in your department, there are maybe you know maybe five to six professors who are really good in doing research in AI ML. Now in M Tech, there are you know maybe thirty to forty or fifty students who will be approaching to those uh, professors who are really good. So I hope you can understand, you know, the the selection, you know, whether the guide will select you or not, that will be really competitive because many students are approaching uh, to those professors who are very famous and who are very renowned doing research in their domain. On the other hand, MTech research, maybe there will be three to four or five students and they are approaching to those, uh, to those professors. So their chance of getting selection is more. There is less competition than MTech students. Now coming to MTech research, what are the advantages? The first advantage is that there will be more research exposure because it's a research driven program. You have to you have to conduct research. So that's why there will be more research exposure. And from the very first day, uh, the curriculum is focused on, on the on the research one. And there will be less course pressure. Uh, because you know in MTech research, typically you have to credit uh, two to three or four courses that also based on the particular direction or area that you're interested in. So the course pressure is less for MTech research. So I have seen in my ISC days that MTech students are creating three to four courses per semester, but MTech research are creating maybe one or two courses. So the pressure, hectic pressure that MTech students has to go through is not there for MTech research students. Now, the third thing is that research direction is fixed for MTech research student because when you are, uh, you know, uh, applying for MTech research and when you are, uh, uh, you know, when you are facing the interview, then only your direction is fixed. Whether you will be doing, for example, in computer science, where you, whether you will be doing your MTech research in theory or system or intelligence system, that is predetermined. Even during interview, during admission only, it's determined. So that's your research direction is fixed. And you can credit the courses accordingly. You don't have to credit from different pools. Uh, you can, if you are if you are doing your MTech research in theory pool, then you can credit all the courses from from theory only. And as I mentioned, the guide selection is less competitive for MTech research because number of students going for MTech research or ML research is very limited. And you know, for them approaching the professor and getting selected by the professor is very smooth and less competitive. However, there are some uh, major disadvantages also for MTech research. For example, the first one is there is no time bound. And it's a serious issue for MTech research that MTech research might take two and a half, two, three, even more than three also. I have seen 3.5, even four years for students to complete MTech research. That's because for the second point, you must publish the work. Uh, so, as a part of your MTech research curriculum, you must conduct some research and you must publish the work. Though sometimes I have heard by the institution like in ISC, they typically say that your work has to be a publishable work. Even if you don't publish the work or uh, get a paper out of your work, your work has to be a publishable work. But you know, who will decide, the, who will decide whether your work is publishable or not? That that will be decided by a supervisor. And sometimes I have seen supervisor once that you have to publish a work, then only you will be getting your MTech research degree. So that's why, you know, this is the major disadvantage that until unless you publish the work in some reputed journal or conference, uh, as there is no time bound, you can't finish your MTech research. And here, students always struggle that, you know, I have seen that people are struggling to complete their MTech research even after three years or uh, doing the MTech research. Third is guide matters the more. As I was saying that, you know, it's your guide or supervisor, he or she will decide whether your MTech research is done or not. So that's why if you are not choosing the proper guide, uh, you will suffer. I mean, you will suffer to complete your MTech research. Uh, getting accustomed with research takes time. As you all are from uh, BTEC students coming from Tier 2, Tier 3 colleges, when you'll be joining MTech research, you don't have any prior research experiences. So getting accustomed with research will take some time, you know, how to read research paper, how to find the research gap, how to find the problem statement. All of these things are not that easy. You know, it will take some time to uh, get accustomed with these things. So initial one year, I will say that for MTech research student, uh, we will take to understand how, what is research, what is the flavor of research, then maybe they can uh, start working on it.
uh, the pressure to finish, as I mentioned, that there is no time bound. You have to publish the work. So that's why there will be always a pressure on MTech research students to complete the MTech research curriculum. And finally, it's a mini PhD. You know, sometimes I have seen that uh, people are publishing two to three works and they are completing their MTech research in three and three and a half years. So I hope you can understand that it's kind of a mini PhD. Uh, so if you are really, you know, willing to do this, then only you should go with. MTech research program. Now, based on your gate rank or gate score, which you should choose, MTech or MTech research? Now, I'll be I'll be giving my wording. First of all, if you have a good gate score or gate rank that you have that you have scored from gate 2025, and using which you are, if you are getting uh, a good uh, top IITs or ISC Bangalore MTech program, go with the MTech program. Don't think about MTech research. Uh, I am saying this primarily because MTech program is a time bound program. It will be finished by second year. And MTech research, as I mentioned, that it might take two and a half years, three years, even more than that also. I have seen people completing MTech research even in three and a half years. And it fully based on or, or depends on the supervisor. You know, if your supervisor is not happy with the research work that you have done, uh, he or she can extend your MTech research or MS research program. So that's why I'm saying that if you have the opportunity that you can get into top IITs or ISC Bangalore in the MTech program, go with the MTech program. Don't think about the MTech research. Now coming to the second pool of students whose gate rank is not that good, maybe a decent gate rank they have and using which probably they will not get into the MTech program of different IITs and ISC Bangalore, top IITs and ISC Bangalore. Maybe they are getting the middle tier IITs MTech program and probably they can get uh, these top IITs MS or ISC Bangalore MTech research program. Here, the student has to think about it. You have to really think, analyze, and then decide. The first thing that you need to think is that whether you are at all interested in the research program. Because as I said, MTech research is a research-driven program, and you have to do some sort of publishable work. Uh, and sometimes even supervisor wants that you have to publish a work, then only you will be getting your MTech research degree. That's why if you are not interested in research, it's very hard for you to complete the MTech research program. So if you're someone who is really interested in research, probably in future you'll be joined, you are planning to join PhD, then you, you should go with the MTech research or MS research program in top five IITs or ISC Bangalore. But if you're someone who is not interested in research, probably you are just you know, focusing on having an MTech degree from, from this middle tier IITs and some job and then settle down, then go with this middle tier IITs MTech program. Uh, don't think about the MTech research program. And on the other hand, if you are someone uh, who is targeting some particular professor and you really want to work for that particular professor in your MTech, uh, so then, then you can even think about MTech research in these top IITs and ISC Bangalore. For example, you are interested to work with Professor Arindam Khan in the theory domain, but you don't have a very good gate rank to get into MTech program uh, in ISC Bangalore, then you can you can go with MTech research and you can talk with the professor and you can join the particular professor in the MTech research program and work under that particular professor. This I'm saying for those students because I know there are many students uh, who are interested to pursue higher studies. Maybe they're interested to do PhD from different US universities and they want to work under a particular professor. In this case, you can definitely go with the the MTech research program in ISC Bangalore or IIT Bombay or different IITs. Now, if you're someone whose rank is close to 1000 or if you maybe beyond uh, 1000 and maybe you are not getting any of the top IITs, even middle tier IITs MTech program using that rank, then you should try hard to get into this MTech research or MS research program uh, because with your rank, probably you'll be getting the lower tier IITs or maybe, you know, some NITs. So those colleges should be your second choice. You should try, try to get into top top IITs or middle tier IITs uh, because you know a, a degree from those colleges matters a lot. Uh, a degree from the top IITs or even middle tier IITs if you are getting an MTech degree that matters a lot. So that's why NITs or lower tier IITs should be your second choice. You should try hard to get into MTech research or MS research program in these uh, top 5 IITs or ISC Bangalore or even middle tier IITs. So yeah that's it guys that's it about this video. I hope you get a detailed overview about what you should choose uh, whether MTech or MTech research program that you should choose. I, I'll, I'll, I'll explain in detail about both the program pros and cons and given my verdict that what you should choose based on your rank now choice is up to you but i have tried to give you a 
uh, detailed overview about both the program. So if you have, if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, 